Hello there, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you're well. Uh, we are back in a new home, Medieval City. I think that's what it's called. I've forgotten the name of the game. That's terrible. I do that all the time, don't I? Um, yeah, so this is episode three of this. It's um, it's an early access game, so it's, it's pretty buggy. Um, we've got a few issues, certainly, that I've discovered already. But there's lots of potential in it. I can I can certainly see a good game in here, just trying to get out. Um, but it's just not it's not there yet. Um, so this this may be the last episode of the series um, because there's not that much more that I want to do. Um, it's just a few buildings here and there that I haven't put down yet that I'd like to just experiment with. Um, so we have a church. Uh, gives 10 attractions to the village, up to 200 villagers. That's quite cool. So let's see about getting a church somewhere, shall we? Maybe the church could go in this gap, actually. Yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. If I get a church in there, and then I can give it a bit of road, can't I? Right, what does that do? Ah, that needs holy books, which is fine. I think I'm producing some holy books. It doesn't have a range, does it? No, that's good. Cool. Right, let me just see if I need to buy anything. Uh, I could probably do with buying charcoal, just because I'm not producing my own yet. There we go, so there's a church. What else have we got? A mosque, I'm guessing, does basically the same, yeah. A tavern, entertainment building with 10 attractions to the village for up to 200 people. So that is going to be a good one to have. Maybe that could come down here. Does that have a... No, see, that doesn't have a... Oh, actually, I could go in there. That's a perfect little gap, isn't it? There we go. Let's get that in there. Ah, it needs beer and wine, which, again, I'm not producing... But there was a cellar where I can produce stuff. So let's let's get the cellar out here because I have a feeling I might need some fields for this. Beer, grain, excellent. There we go. Wine, I'm guessing, makes, needs grapes. Yeah, so let's go with beer um, because we're making our own grain. So that's good. So our, our little cellar here can make beer. That's great. And then the beer will be sold here in our tavern. Wonderful. So, what else do we have? A town hall, what does that do? Increases the attraction of the village by 15. Okay. So, what haven't we done yet? Um, there's things like a large infirmary. It's basically the same as the small one. We have a lumberjack. Produces firewood. Might be a good idea to get one of these going. Let's get one of these up here somewhere. So what does he need? Doesn't say he needs anything, he just makes firewood. Okay, great. I'm not going to complain at that. Should I buy some more coal? How are we doing for coal? Yes, let's buy some coal. Right, so hopefully that's some firewood being produced. We have uh, we have charcoal as well. I don't know what that's going to need. But let's get one of those down as well. Ah, so he needs firewood. And he makes charcoal. That's interesting. Okay. Well, that's cool. So I've got both of those down. Don't know how long it's going to be before they get workers, unfortunately. We'll have to see. Need some more people. Um, so clothing, I guess, is the big thing. Um, I've got a mine here as well. We can mine ores, which I'm guessing is then what you need for uh, a blacksmith and a goldsmith. Um, but let's have a look. Um, a weaver produces yarn, fabric and bandages. Let's have a look at this. Um, actually, no, let's get a bit of road prepared for them, shall we? Actually, have I? Yes, I have zoned in. I've got commercial zoning in there. Okay, let's go down here then. I've got a bit of space here. 
Let's just extend this road out a bit. Let's bring that. Let's bring that right out there. Uh, let's just see if I need to buy anything. I might buy the firewood. Okay, let's have a look at um, a weaver first and see exactly what it is that a weaver needs. Let's start right on the corner because I think I might need a couple of these. So flax for yarn, fabric needs yarn, and a bandage needs fabric. Oh wow, okay, so it's kind of a chain. Hmm interesting okay well for now you just need to make yarn I guess then if I put down a tailor let's go sideways because if I leave a gap there I think I could fit two more of those in there uh, which I might well need so this needs fabric to make clothing oh we've got warm clothing needs fabric and fur and luxury needs fabric fur and leather I don't know how you make fur I haven't discovered that yet, but clothing needs fabric. So, okay, let's let's get another weaver. To make fabric. I don't think I saw anything about Ah, hang on, produces fur and leather from raw animal skins, but how do you get the raw animal skins? I'm guessing that's only from buying them. I don't see anything here that's going to help me produce raw animal skins. Okay, well I don't, I don't think I'm going to worry about a tannery yet. I'd like to just make some basic clothes. I'm going to buy herbs. Right, our money situation is gone in the wrong direction now, unfortunately. Um, yeah, it's tricky. Infirmary, okay, so you're doing fine. Now what was I doing over here? This was grain being made into beer. That now has some people working in it, so let's have a look at this. Good, beer is on the up. 240-odd beer. Nice, so our tavern, hopefully, yes, our tavern has plenty of beer in it, so that is working. It's not totally efficient, and I'm guessing that's probably because it's only selling beer rather than wine, but I can't do much about that at the moment. Yes, it says it's lacking wine. Um, that's okay. Ooh, look, average homes. Right, so do can I upgrade some of these buildings to make them into average homes? I wonder if I do this. And then I can put them in as average homes instead. There we go. Let's have a look here. No, it, it, maybe that isn't what I, I should have done. <laughs> maybe you just have to keep on expanding and building average homes rather than normal homes. Yeah, that probably was a stupid thing to do, wasn't it? Although, actually, no, look. The demand for that is suddenly disappearing. I've got a bit of demand for decent homes here. Maybe I should get couple of these in here just to make sure I've got somewhere for these rich people to go. Yeah, look, one of them moving in straight away. So these houses are level two now. Population five, yeah. So look, you can fit more people in these. That's cool. That should keep people happy as well. Look, I've got loads of unhappy people still. Education, health. I do wish it would tell me exactly what is making people unhappy. It's 
kind of a pain that it doesn't. But yeah, these are these are all better houses now at least. Demand has just about gone down. Let me let me just get a couple more of these in just so I've got everything covered. Ah, so this is our first level three house. I don't know what the capacity is. Um, it doesn't have it has fire. It doesn't have safety or education or health. Really, just about has water. Yeah, so no education and no health. Hmm. Okay. Oh look, all of our resources are going up now. That's a, a nice thing to see. Oh look at that, 2,000 herbs in stock. Fantastic. So we are, should be making plenty of medicine now. And plenty of beer. Still not making money though. Which is a bit of an issue. Are we working our fields well? At the moment we're doing okay for... Um, for cotton and flax. Actually flax is good. Cotton is still really slow unfortunately. We're not making holy books. Why are we not making holy books? I suppose they're just being used more aren't they? Because I have a church that's using the holy books. Yeah so I'm not getting enough paper. Maybe I need another paper maker. Although even this one's only got three out of four people. I need more people. Uh, oh, excuse me. Yeah, no, don't need anything at the moment from them. I'm just waiting really for more and more people to come in. So what else was on here? At the mine. Can I build this anywhere? Surely not. Requires a road connection. Yeah, also looks like it needs to be. Ah, okay. So, yeah. So, they have to, it has to be built in a certain place. So, I can build it there. But then somehow I need to connect it. How do I do that? Um, not entirely sure how I build a road here. It's not snapping to it. Okay, that seems bugged because I can't do anything to it. That's a shame. I'm not sure about quarry, but it obviously doesn't want me to build one, so I won't. However, we still got um, a smeltery and a goldsmiths. However, I am losing money big time. Okay, I'm going to put taxes up a bit. It might make people unhappy. But, hey ho. I need money. Oh god, look at that. I'm still not making money. That's terrible. Okay, let's whack it up. Come on, I need money. There we go, now I'm making some money. People will probably be unhappy now. Yeah, lots of unhappiness. Not entirely sure why many of them. It looks like health might be the, the, the big issue. Um, let's see about getting another infirmary over this way. There we go. Let's get that in there. Make sure everything over here is covered. And I might also just get a library in. Ah, don't have any money. Right, the infirmary is good and is working efficiently. Excellent. Uh, 
And again, it's gone really dark. That's frustrating, I'll be honest. I just like my games to be cheerful, you know, especially these sort of city builders where they're 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 slow paced, you know, they're, they're meant to be relaxing, um, meant to cheer you up. But this is just so dark. Just needs, um, yeah. It need, oh God, look, thirty-two unhappy people. Yeah, it needs um, it needs brightening up. Basically, you need to be able to pause the daylight and uh, and make sure that everything is always daytime. It's a shame. Little things are holding this game back. I feel. I mean, for a start, it's just not big enough. There's not enough going on. There's, there needs to be a lot more production chains and um, just a lot more buildings, I think, to unlock. There's there's so much you can do in games like this with different buildings. Um, but it's fine. I mean, it is early access. I get that. It's, it's still a new game. Um, so there's certainly a lot of potential in it. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll certainly be keeping an eye on it to see whether it can fulfill that potential. Some games do, some games don't. Um, some games just stay in early access for years as well, actually, I've noticed. I mean, some really good games as well. I mean, one of, one of the, the games that I've been playing a lot is Foundation, which is a, another sort of medieval city builder. And that's um, that's been in early access now for about three years. And it's it's a great game. I mean, it's it's again, it's it's a long way from finished. I think. I think. I still think there's so much more that they they can add to it um, to make it better. I mean, as it is, it's a fantastic playable game. But it's still classed as early access, and I guess it it always will be really until they finish it, which they won't ever do because they'll always be releasing updates and you know listening to the the players and seeing what people want next. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the point of early access is. I guess it's it's almost like an ex is an excuse for having bugs in your game. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. It's just my thinking. Um, oh look, it's getting dark again. Yeah, it wouldn't be so bad if it got to proper night time, and you actually had to sort of provide lighting and stuff. Um, but it it doesn't. It just gets gloomy, and it's just hard to see it, everything. And it's not not nice to look at. Right, let's buy some um, cotton. Right, so it's education, I think, over here, wasn't it? That I was lacking. I was going to try and squeeze a library in. So now I have no money, but I have a library, so it's all good. I'm not making. Anywhere near enough holy books. But then I'm not really making a lot of paper. Yeah, I'm getting through an awful lot of holy books. I could almost do with a second one of these to make holy books. The scriptorium. But that costs 1500 And that is 1500 that I do not have. I feel like I've kind of got to a dead end here. Um, I'm sure if I started it again, I could do a better job. But I'm I'm struggling to see where to go next, really. It feels like I've kind of built everything already and I've not really had to expand a lot. Um, I'm not keen, I'll be honest, on this, um, this idea of having a radius. That is a very old-fashioned idea it doesn't lend itself to free building uh, it, it that that lends itself to grid building and that's not a good thing for the modern city building game um, modern games like foundation are completely free you can build anywhere on the map and if you build things too far apart from each other everything just takes longer to happen so there's there's the freedom but obviously there's still limitations just just because of um, you know makes you makes you think about how to lay out your things, but with this idea of this circle radius, it's very easy to end up with a slight gap somewhere where some coverage isn't quite overlapping. Um, so, for example, if I went into water, you could easily end up like here, 
So you've got a tiny little slither here which isn't covered, which is ridiculous. You know, if there was a house there, it could be that it wasn't covered by water. And all I need to do is just move one of these, you know, a few inches to the left. And that's not a good system. It doesn't, doesn't lend itself to, to, to good gameplay, I don't think. Uh, look at that, I've actually sort of done that in a perfect pattern. I didn't even think about that as I was building. But they are pretty much overlapping identically, aren't they? What are the odds? Um, education coverage was okay. Health is pretty good. So police is obviously an issue. Again, I need to build a second policeman up here. Um, what is this one? Oh, fire. So yeah, fire is pretty good. Hmm. So yeah. Well, I yeah, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it there. It's. I think it's, there's a lot of potential in the game, as I've said. It's it's got a lot of potential, but it's not fulfilling it at the moment. But I will keep an eye on it, and I'm sure at some point in the future, once they start doing some more. I will come back to it, but at the moment I feel like there's not enough here to keep me gripped for longer than this, basically, and, that, and just just lots of little quality of life things that need to change before it's a good playable game. For me, the lighting is the big thing, and I've said it a few times, but you don't play these games to get depressed and have to squint your eyes to see what's going on on the screens it, it just needs to be a brighter game i mean look at it it's just the see the sun comes out and it looks really nice but the rest of the time it's looking quite bland so yeah not uh, not the best look unfortunately um other than that you know there, there's there's a lot of good things in the game um the roads uh uh, the system is good, but it needs to be refined where the roads connect. They need to actually the, sort the graphics out so the graphics connect properly. Um, I think you just need a bit more data on workers. Why are there not people working in fields? Um, but they, it doesn't seem to count them as jobs, which is a bit strange. There's no way of prioritizing anything, so you can't say, I want this farm prioritized to be filled up before I want this farm to be filled up things like that so yeah there's lots and lots of little things that they could add in to make the game a lot better um, but there we go for now you know that's that's going to do me um, I'd, I'd like this sort of thing I love checking out new games and I like to share my thoughts and opinions with you uh, if you've got sh thoughts and opinions then go ahead please and share them with me as well um, and hopefully you don't mind that I, that I have a bit of a moan sometimes and, and sort of point things out that um, that I would like to see different. I mean, that's why I, I play these games, is to, to, to see what I like and what I don't. And I might as well share my thoughts with you. That's why we're all here, isn't it? Um, so yeah, hopefully you don't mind that. I'm not, uh, I'm not complaining. I'm merely pointing out things that need improvement, you know. Which is the point of early access, let's be honest. I mean, that's why these games are classed as early access, is because they're not finished. Um, and obviously the, uh, the programmers are waiting for feedback so they know what they need to change and what they need to add in and improve. So it's all good. Yeah, all good. So there we go. So that's going to do it for this little mini-series, just a few episodes. Um, but keep an eye out on the channel because there will be more new games coming along. Um, I'm always on the lookout for new games. Uh, if you've got any suggestions, then you know, please do let me know. Um, but for now, let's leave it there. So thank you for joining me once more. I really do appreciate that you spend a bit of your spare time with me here on the channel. Uh, if you want to hit the like button, that'd be awesome. If not, then absolutely no problem at all. I'm just glad to have you here with me. So until next time, take care. I will see you soon.